In the middle of the 20th century, researchers were starting to conclude that traits-based theories of leadership were just not that useful. So they started to turn their attention from how leaders are to what leaders do. With a suitable behavioural theory of leadership, we can more easily train leaders. There are two major studies of leadership behaviour, and each of them suggests that leadership behaviour falls into two major dimensions. These studies were conducted by the Bureau of Behavioural Research at Ohio State University and the University of Michigan Institute for Social Research. I'm going to label the two dimensions of leadership behaviour as task-focused and relationship-focused behaviour. So let's look at them in turn. Task focus. In the classic work at Ohio State University, the authors called this initiating structure. University of Michigan authors refer to production-oriented leaders. This task focus, by the way, also corresponds closely to what Douglas McGregor referred to as the Theory X model of leadership. Task focus is about how leaders define and structure the work of their team. It is about their focus on achieving the team's goals. Task focus leaders tend to set expectations and standards, allocate roles, and define processes. They emphasize the more technical aspects of the work. Research shows that employees with task focus leaders tend to perform to higher standards and achieve better results. Relationship focus. Relationship focus was called consideration in the classic work by the Ohio State University researchers, and the University of Michigan researchers refer to employee oriented leaders. This approach corresponds closely to Douglas McGregor's Theory Y model of leadership. This is all about building relationships and therefore trust. High consideration leaders are supportive appreciative and approachable. They emphasize the human side of work. Research shows that employees with relationship-focused leaders are more motivated and have higher levels of job satisfaction. Inevitably, these two dimensions of task focus and relationship give us a two by two grid. This grid shows us that, quite obviously, the ideal is a high concern for relationship and a high concern for task. If you let one slide too much, your leadership becomes flawed. And certainly neither set of behaviours is superior. Neither task-focused production-oriented behaviours nor relationship-focused employee-oriented behaviours. What matters is getting the balance right for each particular situation and of course, in later videos, we'll be looking at situational leadership. It's also useful to be aware that there tends to be a strong correlation between leaders' efficacy on each of the two scales, task focus and relationship focus. That is, leaders who score highly in one dimension also tend to score highly in the other. As a result, many commentators have come to suggest that the real distinction in leadership is between a motivation to manage and lead on the one hand and a laissez-faire attitude to management and leadership on the other. A strong motivation to manage is a drive to provide leadership, whereas the laissez-faire attitude is more about a desire to let people alone and let them find their own way. One final thought is that the correct balance between relationship and task-based leadership is also strongly dependent on culture. And by culture, whilst I do mean organisational culture, I suspect the strongest influence is on national culture. In some countries where organisations tend to be more bureaucratic, workers and employees tend to expect a stronger task-focused leadership. In other places, with a more people-oriented culture, employees are more likely to expect and value a more relationship-focused approach to leadership. 
The distinction between task-focused and relationship-focused leadership behaviors is an important one. It tends to crop up in many models of leadership, and it's also helpful in understanding many of the dynamics of leaders and leadership teams. Teams tend to go through cycles, and the way that leaders need to respond is often to vary the balance between task-focused and relationship-focused leadership. On its own, this model doesn't give us much, but as a foundation, it is a vital part of your understanding of leadership. Please do give a thumbs up if you've enjoyed or learned from this video. I'll be making loads more great management courses videos for you, so please do subscribe to the channel and hit the bell so you don't miss any of them. I look forward to seeing you in the next one, and in the meantime, keep learning.